Okay. So we've got a question with standard form now, and the way that standard form works is as always something times ten to the power of something else. Where this number is between one and ten, but it can't actually be ten here. So well that's what we've got here, but we're actually multiplying two different numbers in standard form. Now the best way to multiply two numbers, you could just tap it all straight into a calculator, and if you do that, um you get five point six to the power eight times pi three to the power times ten to the power of oops again I've tapped something on my calculator three point five five point six to the power eight multiplied by three times ten to the minus five And you should get the answer. 16, um, 16,000. If you tap it all straight into your calculator using the times 10 to the power 8, using the standard form, you should get the answer as 16,800. Now, you can't put that down as your answer because it does ask for your answer in standard form. Now, the answer in standard form means you need to have it in this form. So we need something times 10 to the power of something. Well, this has got to be 1.68, it's the only way we're going to get that. So we know the number here is 1.68. And we need to jump the decimal point from 1.68. When we times it by 10, we need to jump it once, twice, three times, four times in order to get it back. Okay, so it's going to be it's going to get bigger, it's a bigger number by four spaces. You can do it some other ways. You can actually break this question up and um, do the 5.6 times 3 and the 10 to the 8 times 10 to the minus 5. But doing it straight in the calculator when you get the opportunity is really, really straightforward and really good. Okay? Just don't forget to convert back to standard form at the end.